Well guys, my morning started out pretty good until I had to fuel up this MX-285 here. I forgot to put the fuel cap back on. So we got a new and improved fuel lid. I'll show it to you guys right here. Look at that thing. Just a milker glove. Pretty slick. I just wave to everybody as they drive by. <laughs> I don't know, usually if you forget to put the fuel lid on, I put it right here and went and hauled another load. Usually if you put it right there, it kind of shimmies its way back into somewhere just behind the fuel tank. I've looked and looked already quite a bit, but I can't see it anywhere in there. Um, me and my dad already drove up and down the road a little bit in the pickup truck, just looking at the edges of the road in the ditch a little bit to see if we could find it. Don't want to waste too much time though. I uh, got to get going again. I mean, that is a pretty sweet looking lid anyway, so uh, we'll probably just get a new fuel lid tomorrow and keep her going. Check this out, guys. It's not every day you'll see one of our tandem trucks pulled underneath the feed bin. The reason why we are doing this, we're just filling some ground or rolled barley grain into the truck here. Uh, we don't even have one full day's worth of storage in this feed bin for barley grain or rolled barley grain. So since we're going to be swapping around that roller mill and the hammer mill in there, it's going to be down for a few days. So we're just rolling a bunch of barley grain in advance, dumping it into the truck, and we're augering it into another bin behind the shop over there. We're doing this because we need to feed a ton of that barley grain every single day, and uh, we can't risk being out of rolled barley grain. If it takes longer than we expect to switch that roller mill and hammer mill over. So we're just making sure that we have a ton of rolled barley in advance sitting in a bin so that if we need it for a little bit longer, we can just grab it. So that's the bin we're dumping in. We're just gonna use our little yellow auger to auger it out every time, every time to fill the feed wagon while we're switching those roller mills and hammer mills around. I'm just gonna dump this load in there for now. We'll just park this auger underneath that bin for the time that it takes to switch it around. Kind of inconvenient, we'll have to start it every time we want to put a little bit of barley grain into the feed wagon. We use barley grain in pretty much every single one of the rations for the cows. The barn gets it, the ladies, the milk cows, and then the corrals, every single corral I think. Maybe not every corral ration gets it, but most of them do, so bit, bit really inconvenient, but it'll be worth it getting that hammer mill switched in there for that roller mill. Now we're gonna have like 10 days worth of rolled barley grain probably in this bin. So what if it only takes one day to switch that roller mill over? That'd be awesome. We can just auger this rolled barley out, put it back in through that hammer mill and reprocess it. And then we'll be able to utilize that hammer mill right away. So this truck is unloaded. I think I had three bins of that rolled barley grain worth in here. So probably three or four trucks in total would be good for eight days maybe. And then we'll have plenty to get that switched over. Today we're gonna to be working on getting an auger from that roller mill shed to a new bin right here. You see there's some drill stem posts there. Our mechanic put those up, but there's an auger on the ground here. And basically, since we're switching the roller mills around, we want to send the barley grain not into this bin, but into that bin. That's our old dry distiller's grain bin. We got a new one. So we figured since that one's like three times as big as our current barley bin, we would dump the barley that gets processed into that bin. It'll give us a little bit more storage and uh, it'll be a lot nicer. So we bought a new auger and today we're probably gonna try to set that thing up. But until our mechanic gets here, because I'm just gonna be helping him with that, he's kind of just taking care of that whole auger installation there. Until he gets here, I'm gonna haul some dirt around. We're just gonna continue kind of spreading that pile around. I've been doing this a bit over the course of summer, but typically jobs that are cleaning up the farm and making stuff look nice, take the back burner, especially when you have to do some actual work, uh, like milking cows, feeding cows, whenever you're on the schedule, you can't be uh, cleaning stuff up. That's why spreading this pile out has taken all summer to get done, but uh, you just chip away at it when you get a little bit of time. Perfect example of this is uh, Cole the Corn Star. He's been trying to clean up and renovate his mansion there all summer, plant a lawn, get it all nice looking. 
but uh, every time you start to work on it something else with the farm comes up and uh, you have to leave cleaning stuff up and tidying it up to uh, do actual work so we got a little bit more time this morning and uh, we're gonna hammer out some more dirt He's first starting out by building some support kind of for the auger. Rented this little lift here, it's pretty sweet. That's a proper lift right there. That is sweet. So apparently this thing's got some auto level feature as well. You just put the four outrigger arms out and hit a button. Makes it perfectly level so it's safe. So this is just drill stem. And there's gonna be four posts. There's one, two, there's one hidden in here. And then this is gonna be three. And that's gonna make a stand to hold the new auger. This is our portable welder. It's just on pallet so that we can pick it up with the skids here in the pallet forks, bring it anywhere. So this is how we're putting the barley in the feed wagon now while that uh, roller mill is down. It takes a little bit of extra time with this auger, but it still works, so we'll get by. We got the pallet forks on the new Holland wheel loader here. So we're gonna take the old roller mill out now. We took the old pencil auger out of here already and it's off the bin, we just did that. It used to go into this white bin here, but now it's gone. This roller mill is being a pain in the butt to take out of the shed, but we got it pretty much all the way out now and it's in the air, so hopefully I can just back away now. So that's it, we just got it out. Now the hammer mill can go right here. That auger we just put up today, stick it right up to that other bin. Got the roller mill blown off there, cleaned it off a bit, dad likes that. So we're gonna park it in the shed now. Uh, it's going to stay nice and dry and stay good in the shed and uh, you never know we're, we don't have any immediate plans on using this thing anytime but uh, maybe in the future you never know so keep it good it's a little bit worn out but it's still wood roll so it might as well keep it nice so we got the bucket back on there now we can shovel out all the dust out of that shed that we just pulled the roller mill out of and uh, that is going to be so much fun shoveling that thing out Barley grain dust, it's the best in the world. I'm telling you guys, it's so much fun. What's up, Buster? My dude, you greasy looking bugger. That's what I'm looking for.
I shoveled all the stuff I could shovel out and we cut a hole through that wall right away as well. That's where the new auger is going to be coming straight out of that hammer mill and into that other bin there. So that's done right away as well, cleaned up all the wall. And uh, now we are going to dump this bucket of crap into the dump and then we are going to grab a portable air compressor and we're going to blow that entire shed out, that entire room. And uh, that's going to make installing the hammer mill a lot nicer. And it's nice to just start off clean and new. It's the only piece of John Deere equipment we have on the farm. Oh no. So just blew that room out also. Here you go shower now. This stuff is so itchy. Well guys, it's looking pretty clean in here now. We're gonna use this auger to feed the hammer mill once we get it in here. We're gonna have to play around with this thing, move it around. Cut a bigger hole around this thing. We already cut a hole out of the wall here. That's where the um, auger is gonna leave the hammer mill up into that bin right there. So we got quite a bit done today. Took out the old auger to the old barley bin, pulled up the new auger. Our mechanic Brent there did a bunch of welding all day today. And we also pulled the old roller mill out, so. If you made it to the end of the video, guys, comment down below, barley dust is the worst dust. Why? Because that is literally my least favorite dust from any grain that I have to work with around the farm. That is gonna be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out the Instagram, at SaskDutchKid, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.